Hi, my name is Ubaldo Reyes. Welcome to my channel Radio Physics with Ubaldo. In this video, I'm going to show you how we develop a patient-specific quality assurance when we have a long PTV in tomotherapy. Patient-specific quality assurance in long PTV. We'll divide the presentation into videos. The first video, which is this one, We'll give an introduction as to why we take upon this presentation. And we'll also demonstrate how we generate the quality assurance in the planning station of tomotherapy at the Centre of Cancerologia. In the second video, we'll demonstrate how we've taken measures to ensure quality assurance procedures. And we'll give our final comments in regards to this topic. Introduction. What is the purpose of this video? The purpose of this video is to show you the process for developing and analyzing a patient-specific quality assurance at the Secan Durango when a PTV is long. What is a patient-specific quality assurance? From my point of view, it's a process that is carried out in order to ensure the LINAC has the ability to reproduce the authorized dose distribution in the treatment plan. What is a long PTV? For this presentation, we'll have to consider that a PTV is long if and only if it exceeds 40 centimeters in length. For example, have in mind a breast cancer. The measurements generally do not exceed 40 centimeters. In that case, this wouldn't be a long PTV. Now have in mind a cervical cancer. This would neither be above 40 centimeters in volume. However, let's have in mind a patient, which will be treated with neuraxis skull. Think of a medulloblastoma. With cases like these, the PTV normally is above 40 centimeters long, which would be considered as a long PTV. Once these points have been clarified, we'll demonstrate how we assure the quality procedure in the planning station of tomotherapy. Since the plan treatment has been approved by the medical physicist and the radiation oncologist, we'll open our treatment plan and we'll look for the slices where the PTV begins and the slice where the PTV ends. Once this is identified, what we'll do is subtract them. And since we already know that the size of each slice in this case, which is three millimeters, we know what's the length of our PTV. In our example, it's 480 millimeters. Now let's head on with our check. we have in mind it has a length measurement of around 200 millimeters. For this presentation, we'll consider the length of 195 millimeters. If we divide this amount with the width of the slice, which would be three millimeters, we'll find the art check would require 65 slices. And not only that, but the center of our check will be on slice 33. With this, we know that the initial slice will be adding 33 tomograph slices to determine the position of our check. Evidently, at this point in time, we have to locate at what tomograph slice would be each and every center of our check. In our example, we'll have three centers on the tomograph slice, 47, 113, 179. Once this is clear, we'll head to our planning station, open DQA software, and we begin to generate our quality assurance. At this point, we selected our patient, whom we've done the quality assurance. 
The first thing we do is place a name for the quality assurance. In this case, we'll utilize QA, PE, 1, 2, and 3. Let's take a look at 1. The first thing the system will ask us is to place a tomotherapy treatment table. These procedures are normal when we'll generate a quality assurance. On the top right hand corner, we have the summary of what tomograph slices are located in the R check centers. The first step here is to head to the tomograph slice 47. To identify the first center, we'll do that on the transversal plane. Once we're on that tomograph slice, what we do is place the phantoma. Place our check in a way the center would appear on slice number 47 on the transversal plane. How we identify the center would be zooming in onto the image and we could see a cross shape right where the ionization chamber is located, which is in the center of our check. That cross would have to be moved so in a way it coincides with the green laser on the transversal plane. When this is done, now we place our check towards that position. The next point would be moving the red lasers on the transversal plane. We are going to overlap them with the green lasers. Regularly, I make zoom on the images to overlap the red lasers with the green lasers perfectly. I hope you're able to see the images clearly. On the coronal plane, we'll place the red lasers on the tomograph slice. We're looking at on the transversal plane. It's important to use zoom as a tool. Once that's done, we place our red lasers. And what's next is that the system calculates the dose distribution after finalizing the calculations. We export this procedure onto the computer for our check. And we have the quality assurance procedure one done. We begin with the second one, which is exactly the same. We name the second quality assurance QAPE2. On the transversal plane, we'll position ourselves on the tomograph slice 113, which is the second center. On the coronal plane, we'll place our check in a way we'll be able to visualize it on the transversal plane. Remember the center is identified with the cross shape due to the ionization chamber. We visualize the green laser and once again, we overlap the cross generated by the ionization chamber onto the intersection on the green lasers. We do this on the transversal plane. After we align our phantoma, the next step is to overlap the red lasers once again on the transversal plane. We overlap it on the green laser and on the coronal plane. We'll place it on the tomograph slice we're visualizing on the transversal plane. For that, have in mind the tool of zooming in. And finally, we place the red laser position. Once again, we calculate the quality assurance and then we export to the art check control station. It's important to carry on three sessions for this quality assurance given the fact that it's the only one we'll deliver regarding 
these three cases. We'll begin our third quality assurance once again. The first thing we do is place the name QAPE3. We follow the same exact procedures we know that our check is on the tomograph slice 179. So on the transversal plane, we look for that tomograph slice. Once we're located on that tomograph slice, we'll move our phantoma. We'll move our check. First, we place it on the coronal plane to visualize the center where the ionization chamber is located on the transversal plane. We'll visualize the green laser and once again overlap the center where the ionization chamber is located on the green laser's middle point. For that, we zoom into the image. After we align our phantoma, the next step is to overlap the red lasers once again on the transversal plane. We overlap it on the green laser and on the coronal plane. We'll place it on the tomograph slice we're visualizing on the transversal plane. For that, have in mind the tool of zooming in. And finally, we place the red laser position. Once we do that, we place the red laser. Once again, we let the system calculate the dose distribution. And finally, we export the information to our check computer. 